this intro? I bet it's 10. Welcome back to the Pastor's Flashlight. I'm Pastor Ian Wolf, and I have another video for you today. I have my assistant director over here. Hi. Come on, come on, the people, the peeps, they want to see you. There he is. He's the man uh, and the brains behind today's uh, video. If you happen to hear a bit of snorting and bouncing of things, that would be our pup, Guinevere, Lady Guinevere, an old English bulldog who is a sweetheart. She has just woken up from her nap and wants to play, of course, as I try to do a video. This video I actually filmed last week when I opened up my new pen because it is they arrived on the same day, uh, but I haven't I haven't done an intro for it, or at least one that uh, I liked. So I've got some time this lovely Saturday afternoon and thought I would put one together for you. As a pastor, I write a lot. I write extensively. I've uh, on a normal uh, normal week in the course of the, the church's year, I, I'm probably teaching between three to four different classes, as well as uh, leading a Bible study that's involved in that, and preparing for Sunday sermons, and uh, writing out sermons, kind of bullet points, uh, to help then type them up later. So I use paper and I use a lot of paper and what I use primarily are notebooks because I kind of feel like I need one notebook for everything. And so I've got a, a traveler's notebook for journaling and note taking at home and things that uh, uh, happen, uh, ideas, uh, little things that uh, come to me over the course of the week. So I have got a traveler's notebook, but I've got a second one because I've got one for church and one for, for my calendar and uh, an address book in here for my congregants. I've got um, all of my kind of churchy records in this one. And so I also have two of these for my book of Concord study that I le led and my book club that I lead. And they look exactly the same. And so uh, that gets confusing at times. Then I also have a Claire Fontaine A5 notebook that I won't show you this, but you can see maybe uh, I, I'm writing a novel by hand. It's terrible. All, now, all first drafts are. Uh, so I've been told so I don't beat myself up too much. But I... Um, I've been working my way through that, and so I've got another notebook for this. Sunday sermons. Well, I've got a loik term right here that I use. Again, it's an A5 size uh, that I've been using to write out outlines for my sermons. There goes uh, the door and the dog. I prepare every lesson for every Sunday, all the readings for each Sunday. Well, they, uh, they're the same every year, and so I have been um, using an A, what is this, an A4 Master Slim Loic Term uh, to take uh, notes about the text for the day. This, this one is dedicated to the Old Testament lesson or the, the Hebrew reading. I've got a bigger one that I used uh, during the Sundays in Ordinary Time, and this is uh, this has got Ash Wednesday on it, and here's my own translation. And so I use notebooks everywhere, and I use Rhodia pads uh, to take notes on. So many notebooks. So is there possibly one notebook for everything? All of those notebooks can I put into one so I don't have to carry five different notebooks with me when I bounce from class to office to home back to uh, the, the pub where we do our theology on tap every, uh, every month. Can I have one place, one notebook to rule them all and keep all of my notes collected in, in, in one, but also allow me the flexibility to then take all of my writings and separate them out into their own place. 
I have found a solution. I have found probably one of the best notebook systems I've ever seen. I haven't been looking all that long, but I've really fallen in love with it in just a week of use. It's a one-stop shop for all of my notebooks, all of my note-taking, calendar, uh, writing, journals, Bible studies, sermon notes, something else I can't remember. Um, and it's just been a, a, a gem to use. It's, it's a tool uh, that I use every day. So I hope you enjoy this unboxing video of my new William Hanna notebook. Thanks for joining. Uh, stick around for the video. Also, hold, don't stop the I video it. yet. I did it. I did it. I did it. Whew. That was a close one. I almost forgot the most important stuff. That's not the most important stuff. The notebook's the most important stuff. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you kind of like this uh, channel, kind of like it, maybe you don't, I don't know. Subscribe, uh, we're almost at 100. I am i can't believe it, it's only been a, a year. <laughs> but then again, I haven't been too fruitful uh, in making videos either. So. Uh, like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Uh, if you have a, a good punny name for these pen-related videos, pensive ponderings or pensive previews or something else, pens, pens. Anyway, enjoy the unboxing. Thanks. See you in a bit. Hey, everyone. Uh, Pastor Ian Wolf back with uh, Pastor's Flashlight. And I have today another unboxing. Uh, Monday was, uh, Monday of this week, May 11th, was a nice day to get all sorts of packages in the mail, things that I had ordered. In the previous unboxing, you saw my brand new pen, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Magma Edition. There it is in all her beautiful, beautiful glory. Uh, still loving writing with this pen in it. In another video, I do want to talk about why I chose this pen and then do maybe a little bit more of a writing sample to get a, a, another look at it. But that's not why we're here today. We've already unboxed that. So now we have this. We have this to unbox. And I thought, you know, if you have a pen that looks like this, you need... I did... Uh, that's not blood, don't worry. That is just ink from when I filled this. I made a real hash of it. And, uh, but if you're a fountain pen fan, you're going to have ink on your hands. That's just the way it is. Um, so I got, uh, got this new pen, and this pen uh, needs to be used, and it needs uh, something uh, to be used with. As a pastor, one thing I do a lot is write. I write, I write, I write. I've got notebooks galore um, from, from Loic Term and from all the rest. And so I thought I needed something that I could just, just use one notebook for many things. One place to write sermon notes. One place to write Bible study notes, one place to write a diary, uh, activities, keep a calendar, all of those things. And so I stumbled across a, a fellow YouTuber, uh, Mr. Michael Jex, a famous, uh, famous world-renowned British author, mystery author, who also does all sorts of uh, pen related videos and writing rel related videos, inks and pens and paper and all of that kind of stuff. So please go follow Michael Jex over here. Well, I shouldn't say over there, over here or here rather on YouTube. Uh, he is at Writerly Witterings. It's a mouthful to say, but uh, I do enjoy his presentations. And he has been using for quite some time now a William Hanna notebook. Uh, and I really like the system that uh, he uses, and I thought this would be perfect for, uh, for my uses as well. So this arrived in the mail. 
And I have to say, it's pretty amazing how quickly it came. Uh, since these are manufactured overseas in uh, Great Britain. Open here. Let us do as we are bid. Inside, we will find... Here we have a very beautiful handwritten card. And it simply has the invoice along with a handwritten message thanking me for my purchase and here is uh, what we are after let's see if i can zoom out just maybe a little bit uh, this beautiful cardboard box um, embossed upon it is the william hanna logo and the packaging and presentation is is just stunning uh, inside we find the notebook beautifully wrapped in this William Hanna tissue paper made in England. And so um, I'm going to have to be careful with this. This is, this is beautiful. OK. And on the inside, we find our William Hanna notebook. This is a beautiful black uh, leather notebook with red stitching on the outside all the way around and on the inside is this beautiful red suede just gorgeous now this system of, of notebooks is unique from what you'll find in other notebooks see all of these rings down the center that's because these pages are removable. They can be removed and then placed in other notebooks. So what you have here is one notebook to write in, in which you can take your study notes, your sermon notes, your diary, whatever you want to use, remove it, and then put it in a, another holder another keeper. This also makes this notebook incredibly, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nimble. Maybe that's it. So that you can use it for a planner, as a diary, as a uh, regular old notebook and the like. This has beautiful uh, dot grid uh, paper. I, You can order yours in whatever combination you want. And so I got a, a half and half mix of lined and dot grid. And with the William Hanna notebooks, you can also, I don't know if you... All right, uh, so I apologize for the um, hiccup in the video. I was showing you the paper and my phone said, hey, I need to stop and take a break and recharge. So I had to go do that and now jumping back into the video. I was showing, and I can't remember exactly where I left off, but the paper you can customize. They have plain, they have dot, they have lined. I got an even sample of dot grid and lined, but the really cool thing was that you could also order what color you would like uh, the the dots and the and the lines to be, and I don't know if you can see it very well in this light, but I ordered crimson, uh, crimson dots and crimson lines to go along with the with the uh, inner part of the of the notebook. This inner red suede, crimson suede, black on crimson. It's quite beautiful. Uh, along with the notebook that uh, came with it was this folder. And inside it, it also had some, uh, some extra inserts. I really love the packaging and the design on this. It's, it's really quite, quite regal. And you would expect nothing less from a company in England, right? Uh, you would expect them to do it refined and well. And 
So far, William Hanna has. This is just absolutely gorgeous. So this is just a name page. There's some uh, more sheets of lined paper that they included, a few more portions of dot grid as well as graph, and I think there's some blank in there as well. I'm gonna set those aside. Uh, there's also a weekly plan, right? Uh, goals, goals for the week. These are just sample pages, I think, that they include a to-do list. And you can order uh, a full set of these, I think, in either packs of 50 or 100, which are pretty awesome. And another uh, note card. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera there. I also ordered, along with it, some extra paper and uh, just some extra line and dot grid because when you are uh, ordering uh, overseas and you don't really want to pay shipping more than you have to, then uh, it's good to just have some extra on hand. So this also came to packaged in this uh, white kind of cardstock envelope, which is, which is really awesome. And they all came with the William Hanna stickers on them and just lovely. The uh, last thing I ordered was a planner because I do plan on using this kind of exclusively for work uh, at the church, both for my daily planning, for my Bible studies, for my sermon prep, uh, to have paper, to have a notebook where I can do everything in one place and not have five different notebooks and remember to grab this notebook and then I got to grab that notebook and and so on. Excuse me, need to take a swig of tea here. <clears throat> so I got a planner and when you order the planner, um, they ask you to include what day you want it to start. Uh, and this is a six month uh, diary with one week to two pages. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, and so whenever you order the, the planners, they will print them for you according to whatever start day you want, uh, so long as it's the Monday of that week. Because uh, on the order form, it asked you to put the Monday of the, the week that you wanted to start. So June 1st is a Monday. That worked out perfectly for me. And so here is uh, the one week to two pages. And I'll try and hold these here together so you can see them. Uh, so there they are. These are all custom printed, right? They print them when you order them and then they ship them out. So this was just, just perfect. Um, the, I got the one week to two pages because that will allow me to divide each page uh, in half and keep my church events and schedule as well as um, my, my home events. Although things are kind of crazy right now at home as I spend uh, part of my time as a uh, homeschool teacher to our three children, as uh, many parents are uh, learning, uh, having to learn how to do. Uh, so this will help, uh, definitely help keep me more organized with all of their activities and although they don't, I should say all of their non-activities, all their school activities as far as videos and uh, what homework is due when, and also to help keep me in check as well, trying to remember, oh yeah, I've a Sunday is coming up and I better get a sermon done. So that's what I am planning to use this William Hanna notebook for. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would um, suggest you take a look at them. I do want to uh, stop the video here and then just say a couple more things uh, to the camera and then send you on your on your merry way. Uh, see you in just a bit. Thanks for watching everybody. I did want to give one what what did it say? It, oh it said 20% battery. My phone's at 20 percent battery. Oh no. All right, I'll make it quick. A big shout out to the British author and YouTuber Michael Jex. Thank you, sir, uh, for leading me to find William Hanna and their notebooks. I raise a glass uh, tonight in your honor, good sir. 
if you uh, are curious about Michael's videos, check him out at Writerly Witterings uh, over here. On, over here, that doesn't make any sense. He's the author. I'm not. He's the wordsmith. Writerly Witterings on YouTube. He does fountain pens. He does inks. He does notebooks. Uh, and he also does some reviews and of other books as well. So please check him out, uh, like his channel, subscribe, give him all sorts of thumbs up. Also, we'd appreciate it if you would give us a, a like here and a thumbs up. And the director has emerged from her room. Oh, thank you, Miss Director, for joining us. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>